So I came over to Teddy's to uh, where he's taking us to dinner. We're all going to dinner at Korean barbecue. His basement's flooded. It took him three times to upload the vlog. Um, there's there's a lot going on. That fucking crazy storm here with flash flood warnings. Trees are down everywhere. It's kind of hard to believe probably because now like always in Colorado, once it's over, you can see the wetness and stuff, but uh, it actually looks beautiful out this evening. Town, so it's like, yeah, you gotta pay somebody to deal with it. You gotta be like, dude, I need, I need loot. Store. Oh, shit, got a little tree branch still in here. Get it, get it. I got a little hot spot in his fucking paw. Look at his back, right paw in between the two. You can see how red it is. Really? That's crazy in there. That's me. I'm still rolling the joint, dog. Oh. I just roll good joints now. <laughs> Even when they're ugly, they're still hit. How old are you? 36. How long have you been smoking weed? 18 years. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Changed my flight to the night. Yep. The basement has flooded. Yep. Uh, what else has happened? Is that it? That's all we got? Because I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. And I kind of don't want to stay in one spot. Like, I just, I don't want to go to Melrose, not even one single fucking time. Yeah. I don't want to go shopping. I don't want to fucking do any of that shit. I want to be as far away from fucking street culture as humanly possible. Yeah. And just want to be, like, on the beach and just chilling. Beach shit. Oh, shit. I'm up in Teddy's. He sees me on the cameras. He can talk to me. I think that's it. I was just dropping his weed off. Left him to get his hair cut. Had to drop some shit off at the crib. Put in the wax in the fridge. That's amazing. He's got a lot of wax here. This dude is waxed up. Holy shit. Cookies, glue, death by lemons, and banana kush. Wow, sounds like a great time. I got a haircut. Ready to go. Omar is wildin'. We got the tree. We got Omar Swamp. Look at all these bugs. Look at all these bugs. Today is a little bit of a cluster. I changed my ticket because I got... What did he get into? Because I got super frustrated yesterday. Pretty much everything going on. I just fucking changed my ticket to tonight. So I'm leaving tonight now to LA. I don't really necessarily want to know where I'm going in LA. I'm going to meet Alex and then we're going somewhere. Probably like Santa Monica area. Mal I want to go to Malibu, but there's really like nowhere to stay in Malibu that's not $5,000 a night. So um, I don't really know. I'm just going to like vibe out really. Today, the rest of the afternoon, I've got to clean my house because I have a house sitter coming. I've got to get the basement situated because it's flooded and they haven't said anything about what they're going to do yet. That's where I'm at. Went and got some weed that Ernie brought back for me. Got a little Harlequin Comic Con vibes. Whoa, shit. I'm going to roll up this Harlequin. And then we're going to talk about BYWs. We're gonna talk, whoa, we're gonna talk about some shoes. We got time, when I don't have time, when I, when I have time, when I have time, I talk about shoes. When I don't have time, I live my life. All right, let's roll up a joint first, go. Let's, uh, let's go on this shoe journey here. Lights, just look better. This looks fine. I'm gonna take you on like a little shoe journey real quick because uh, there's just a lot of questions basically. Uh, there's a lot of questions about BYW in general. So I got the new Pharrell's in, the Pharrell BYW X, black pair and the pink pair. They, you know, they, they, they don't match. There's two different pairs. Just have people keep asking me which my favorite pair is. I think it's the black. It's just a little more wearable and that like super bright pink is so anything solar is pretty much uh, gonna get bought. I do surprisingly like the pink pair as well. I like them both. They are both nice. I fuck with them both, which is why I bought them both. These are the third of these that we've gotten, but technically only the second, because these are different than the original 747 pair, which is just the BYW 747. I don't know if they were calling this a level one, 
but it has a level one sole on it. The only difference between this shoe and this shoe are the sole. There are no other differences other than maybe how they fit, which it sort of seems like in a very strange way, the pink pair is a little, and the black pair is a little looser than this pair, but not by much. It's really just like, kind of like I had to put them on at the same time. And I don't know if that's because something got compensated for because of the sole. I have no idea because these are both 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 13. Pretty sure, right? Because I could have my theory blown right out of the water if I don't know my own size. Mm. Yeah, 13. So this is your BYW X sole, which has each of your little boost modulars. Boom, boom, boom. We've talked about BYW when it came out. It came out, this is the first, technically this isn't the first one, but I'm not gonna go grab it. The first one was just black. It looks just like this other than the colorway and the boost isn't black in that one. First BYW model that we got, it sort of changed everything as far as BYW comfort, which is nuts. I have a video about these when they came out, but um, so this is what the sole of that looks like, which matches identically to the sole of the other level one. So there hasn't been a lot of X releases. In fact, there's only been one, which is also at 747, which was this shoe, which is a performance basketball shoe. So the X part is the sole which has more of the, uh, it's more of the feature wear technology type jump off. Because if you look at the BYW, it's, it kind of goes off to the whole thing of feet you wear, which is where BYW comes from, boost you wear, as you know, that the sides of the shoe were also functional. Instead of it just being a flat sole, you're able to pivot and move off your foot differently. It was able to create a better connection with the ground. But that's why you have tread and things like that on the sides when you go into the X. So it's more of a, you know, more of a performance thing. The upper on this is really snug. This is probably the most true to size out of all of them. I don't really think I could half down. I, yeah, I don't think so. But this one, you know, your sock collar is more like a mid ultra boost. This knitting is more, you know, just got more balls to it tighter on your foot there's more reinforcements you have this paneling and fusing a lacing system that locks down like it's just a more performance model is there full length boost and there is if you turn the shoe upside down uh you, you can see the boost window in the back and then there's also you can see the boost and then you can see this torsion plate that well i guess it's torsion but it's more like chassis this is like your little chastity plate here and this kind of comes up into the hole keeps everything balanced not too squishy and you you know S straightened out. You don't want to be all fucking goofy foot. It's back to the Pharrell's. So the only difference is the sole on this. So this is the BYW X Pharrell version. These are wet because I uh, just cleaned them off because I was outside. But this is the X version and literally the only reason that this is the X is because of the sole. There's no extra lockdown. There's no paneling. There's really absolutely zero difference in uppers as far as I can tell between the X and the regular level one. It's literally about this sole. The question being, does that make it a performance? model I don't think so I don't think a lot of people are gonna be playing in this anyway but I also don't really ball like that so I can't say but there's no reinforcement I mean if support is what you're looking for this is not necessarily the shoe for you uh, comfort is great amazing you know you can kind of see the white of the boost nothing leads me to believe there's not boost there I can't see it for sure but I'm pretty sure it's there because I know for a fact that it's in this shoe because this is the model base that I built a shoe at in 747 when this is one piece it's all just one piece the chastity is attached everything is one piece and this guard just kind of comes up on the side but the boost sits on the inside you know it's like a little pull of boost down there that yes that it's full length boost in all of them. There's a lot more boost in this shoe. The level one has way more, it's definitely shaved down. I mean, when you look at the size, all you have to do is look at the inside of the shoe. Those boost pods are not even close to the same size, dog. Like there's no boost pottage. There's de it's definitely minimized. You're definitely getting more boost in the heel, which I'm going to assume is for balling. You know what I'm saying? You gotta bounce off that heel, pivot ball, pivot ball. Uh, I think that you can half size down. And the only reason I say that is because I had to half size down. These weren't made in a 13. These are a 12 and a half. They fit fine. The black is honestly like the most perfect fit for a soft light collar. But I also always kind of teeter between 12 and a half and 13. Rare that a 12 and a half doesn't fit me if I have to make it fit comfortably. I don't walk around uncomfortable. I ain't about that life. You're gonna have a little room in the toes, but again, you're kind of sitting in a chastity in the shoe. So it's just, it's just a different fit, but it's super comfortable, like a souped up NMD or a thin down Ultra Boost Mid. They're in between the two. Someone's at the door, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's fine. Let me grab Omar so he doesn't bother you real quick. 
<laughs> yeah, but that's really it. I'm not gonna do it on feet. I just I'm not doing it. It's fucking shitty outside anyway. Um, just imagine my foot in the shoe, I'm turning around. It says Ambitoine, it says Ambition on the front. You have the three stripes that come down the front of the shoe, which this is actually, but when I reviewed this one, I didn't really realize it. God damn, now the phone's ringing. Hello? Yeah, this is him. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about before the phone rang. Dropped already. They're not supposed to drop again as far as announcements go, but I don't know. All kinds of rumors and talk about how limited they are. I don't, I don't know that either. Shout out to BBC, my family. They uh, always take great care of me. So both pairs from BBC. I love them. I'm going to wear them and enjoy them like shoes should be enjoyed. A little like sidebar here, a little constellation prize. <sighs> 500. Very, very similar. Chastity, different little pods. It's shaped completely different. You know, you have different sections. I'm going to imagine has a purpose, you know, because this is not at all a performance shoe. There is no boost. Got to be different levels of stability for different things. Technology, engineering, research, and development is important. So that's, you know, that's what's also cool about this is it's kind of like you get the same vibe, you get the same look, and then you also have uh, the boost versions of them as well. Even though this shoe is really comfortable for a non-boosted shoe, uh, boost models, well actually they're just completely different. Like it's not even able to say because the upper on that is so crazy and then the boost on this is so crazy. We did the other day, the mixture of them would be great and a lot of people said that it was just this shoe, but that's not the same thing at all. It really isn't. There's, there's really uh, pros to each upper and I guess cons too, if depending on what you're doing. That's the shoe. Shoes. Those are all the shoes. I gotta get a thumbnail. What's gonna be the best hype beast thumbnail? So it should just be these three like oh shit motherfucker. What's the difference? The angry thumbnail like The YouTube angry like what? Oh my god. Oh shit, yo. Oh Or the ooh surprised. Hmm. I'm not sure about these. Hmm. I'm not sure. Mm. But yeah, these are the these are the three for real. Are the Pharrells like this? Oh, I remember what I was talking about. These three stripes like this came from a soccer shoe. I can't remember what shoe it was. I want to say it was like a old ass Predator shoe, I think. It's a cleat. I can't find it. Someone will have to correct me because I don't have time to look right now. Anyway, that's it. That's the shoes. That's the day. That's it. I'm headed to LA tonight. Going to Joshua Tree for a little bit. I'm going to go probably to Santa Monica for a night. Get around and do all kinds of stuff. If you see me in LA, feel free to say what's up. There's no events. There's no meet and greets. There's no pop-ups. There's no none of that. I'm just going to eat food. Hang out with Alex. Relax. Clear my head. Smoke weed. And take in the motherfucking vibe. I love y'all. Oh. The drop is not live. Friends and family, your stuff is on the way, which should be delivered to us while I'm gone, hopefully, and then out the door to you. And then the coming soon for everyone else is up right now at osteddy.com. So you can check out what's coming before it's coming. Plan your life accordingly. Get your fucking finances. Oh, there's the little predator shoe right there. Get your finances in order and uh, execute your motherfucking plan. All right, I'm out. Love y'all. Peace.